Hello, and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to reduce the file size of your PowerPoint documents in order for you to be able to send them via email or upload to a server uh, because it makes it a lot more manageable. So I'm working on a MacBook Pro and I'm using PowerPoint version uh, year 2020 and you can see that I've got a five page PowerPoint document already created. This is just a um, textile portfolio uh, layout, as you can see, but yours might be multiple pages, uh, it might be up to say 80 pages, which is um, going to be a huge file size. First thing you want to do is check the file size with um, Finder, if you're on a Mac. Find where the file is located, and you can see at the moment it already tells me the file size, so it's 15 megabytes. If you can't see that, either control click or right click on the file and go to get info and it will tell you there as well. If you're working on a PC uh, you can right click on the file uh, and you can go to uh, properties and that should tell you the file size. We're then going to go back to PowerPoint and we're going to click on our image, just any image. These are the, um, the things that will increase the file size. We're then going to go to format picture or picture format in the ribbon and then you're going to find the button that's called compress pictures up here. When these uh, options come up, uh, where it says picture, quali uh, picture quality, you're going to click on that and you're going to select the most appropriate picture quality for what you want to do with the file. So I'm going to email mine, so I'm going to set it to email, but if you um, just bear in mind that the, the higher the number of the PPI, the, the higher the file size or the larger the file size. Make sure that the delete cropped areas of pictures is ticked uh, and that means any images that you've cropped in the PowerPoint document, the areas that um, are outside of the crop box will be removed and then you want to apply it to all of the pictures in the file. Click OK and then save it. And then you're going to check the file size, so we're going to go back to Finder. You can see it's set to 5.5 uh, megabytes now, um, which is great. So it's a good reduction. Um, the next thing we're going to do, we'll go back to PowerPoint and uh, we're going to save this as a PDF. Uh, so we go to File and Save As. Where it says File Format, let's select PDF. And the reason we're saving it as a PDF is so that um, a lot of, um, it's just easier to send. It's a portable document format. So we're going to click export, go back to Finder, and just check the file size of that. So we're going to click on that multi page PDF. If I double click to open it, you can see it saved it there. Right click, go to get info. It's the same file size. Um, but in my next video, I'm going to be going through how you would actually reduce the file size further. If you've got your PDF is quite large, then you can reduce it down even further. Great, so if you like this video, please click like and subscribe for more videos.